Hi, welcome to Easy ETS Employee Rider App Screen Walkthrough Video. This short video will help you understand how to log in and start using the Employee App. First, download the Easy ETS Rider Employee App from the Play Store or Apple Store by searching Easy ETS Rider. After downloading, open the app to see this screen. The app will ask for some permission initially to continue. Please understand and click Allow. Only pre-registered user can log in to this app. Pre-registered user must first verify their mobile numbers. You have two options to verify your mobile number true caller verification or otp verification if you have the true caller app installed just a single tap will let you log in otherwise you can choose the alternative method by entering your mobile number and the password provided by your company suppose i have a registered account i click on login and then proceed with a single tap true caller will verify my mobile number and log me into the app now i am on the dashboard now i will log out and show you how to log in directly with the mobile number i am entering the company registered mobile number and password and now i am on the dashboard we will discuss all the screen icons one by one. Let's start with how to set your home location coordinates if your lat long coordinates are not set. Please do this only when you are at your home location. On the dashboard, you will see the set home location icon. Click on this and the app will automatically collect your lat long coordinates. To save, click on update and then lock the location. With the correct coordinate set, when the driver is approaching your pickup location, they will have accurate navigation because you have already set your home location. Let's check my trips icon. I am clicking on on my trips on the current screen we can see the shift roster route details for today there is a shift at 17:30, and my pickup time is 16:55. the message upcoming booking waiting for dispatch means a vehicle is not yet allocated now i will allocate a vehicle from the admin side so you can see how it looks like when a vehicle is allocated now you can see a notification that the vehicle has been allocated we see the vehicle details under my trips, including the vehicle number, driver's mobile number, driver's name, and the vehicle model. There is also an OTP number in a yellow background, which you need to provide to the driver before boarding the cab. If I click on tracking, we can see other passengers traveling in the same vehicle and view the trip route tracking on the map. When the driver approaches towards your pickup point, the map will update in real time, showing the driver's current location on map. If you cannot take the cab for any reason, you can use the no show option. Select no show, provide a reason, and click click yes this will cancel the vehicle for you if you don't do this and the driver starts heading to your location you will get a notification saying vehicle is coming to your pickup location once the vehicle arrive you will get another notification and you can onboard the vehicle by providing the otp details after you board the next passenger will get a notification that the vehicle is on the way to their pickup location before completing the journey please do an e-signature which is required to submit the trip details you also have an option to give feedback on the vehicle or driver's behavior in case of an SOS-like situation, you can press the SOS button. This will automatically inform the admin travel desk with a serial-like alert sound and update supporting authorities with your trip details, current location and contact details. This is how my trips feature works. During late night or early morning drops, you will receive a notification immediately after you drop asking if you have reached home safely. You can click the safely home icon to confirm. We will discuss roster change and ad hoc working in next session. Thank you for your time and always have pleasant trips.